In this video, we will be looking at the five number summary, box plots, and outliers. The five number summary gives us a way to describe a distribution using only five numbers. These five numbers include the minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and the maximum. So if we took a sample and measured some random quantitative variable, we could order these values from smallest to largest and use the five number summary to describe the distribution. The minimum is the smallest value in a dataset, and the maximum is the largest value in a dataset. The median is the middle data value. It is a point at which 50% of the data values are below the median, and 50% of the data values are larger than the median. Now the median of the bottom half is called the first quartile. It is a position where 25% of the data values are below it, and 75% of the data values are larger than it. The first quartile is essentially the median of the median. The same thing can be said for the third quartile. The median of the top half gives us the third quartile, and it is a position where 75% of the data values are below it, and 25% of the data values are larger than it. The five number summary also gives us a way to divide the data into four equal quarters. So let's determine the five number summary for the following data set. We'll start with the median. To find the median, you can look for it visually, and you should find that the median is equal to 33. You can also use the formula to find the position of the median, and we find that it is in the 8th position, which is equal to 33. Now to find the first quartile, we can use the same formula to find the position of Q1, except this time, n refers to the number of data values below the median. There are 7 data points below the median, so n is equal to 7 and we find that the first quartile is in the fourth position. So we count to the fourth position and we see that Q1 is equal to 25. To find the third quartile, we will do the same sort of thing, except N refers to the number of data values that are above the median. There will always be symmetry, so you should find that Q3 is also in position four. So we count four positions above the median and we find that Q3 is equal to 36. Now the minimum is the smallest number, and the maximum is the largest number. So as a result, this is our five number summary. We can then take these five numbers and make something called a box plot. A box plot gives us a visual representation of the five number summary, and it looks something like this. Each vertical line on the box plot represents a number from the five number summary. The horizontal line that extends out from the box are called whiskers and the actual box itself is called the interquartile range. The interquartile range refers to the middle 50% of an ordered dataset, and it is equal to the third quartile minus the first quartile. We can also have something called a modified box plot. It's like a regular box plot, except it accounts for outliers. Sometimes, outliers in a dataset aren't that obvious. However, we can mathematically check if a dataset has outliers in it. We say that a data value is considered to be an outlier if the data value is less than Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR, or if the data value is greater than Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. So if you remember the following data set, we had calculated the five number summary to be 10, 25, 33, 36, and 59. To check for outliers, we first need to calculate the interquartile range. We found that Q3 is equal to 36, and we found that Q1 is equal to 25. When we simplify this, we get an answer of 11. Now we said that a data value is an outlier if it is less than Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR, or if it is greater than Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. At this point, we can start substituting values. Q1 is 25, Q3 is 36, and the IQR is 11. And so we say that a data value is considered to be an outlier if it is less than 8.5 or if it is greater than 52.5. If we look at our data set, we see that no values are less than 8.5. However, we do have a value that is greater than 52.5. Therefore, we say that 59 is an outlier. And so when we make a modified box plot, we write the outlier as a dot and the whisker will only extend to the new maximum. In this case, it is 50. So to quickly recap, 
A regular box plot is drawn using the five number summary. A modified box plot also uses the five number summary, but it accounts for outliers. And if there are outliers, a whisker or both whiskers will extend only to the new minimum or maximum. Similar to back to back stem plots, we can have side by side box plots. By having them side by side, we can make easy mathematical and visual comparisons between two sets of data.